Hi guys, my name's Pete, and welcome to The Verge, and welcome to No Man's Sky in VR. Let's check it out. Hi guys, my name's Pete, and welcome to The Verge, and welcome to the new upgrade for No Man's Sky, the Prisms upgrade. There's lots of uh, really nice graphical upgrades here. And some functional ones like the sky is full of stars. To make it fair, I'll return here in daylight soon. And then compare um, DLS off right now everything's on ultra we have DLS on and it's balanced so we could go for performance or quality and as you can see I'm pulling this is a quest one so I'm pulling more than enough for the quest 72 frames a second Latency 67, most of that is a game. You can see this is on the virtual desktop, so there's some additional um, latency with networking and decoding and encoding. But you'd probably get that on the link cable as well. All right, let's come back in daytime. Well I've got DLS on on the left and DLS off on the right. It's pretty hard to tell. The latency seems to be higher with DLS off and the images aren't so fantastic. And it's a lot smoother in the headset. Maybe I need to up my games in terms of my headset in terms of resolution and um, frame rate. Okay, here we are, back in daytime. And this is with um, DLS on, everything on Ultra, as before. Now I'm just kind of moving around naturally in my play space. And I notice that if I use the thumb, uh, thumb joystick, there's a bit of shuddering. But as you can see it's 72 frames a second, 73 milliseconds latency, most of that's in the game and this is what I really like we've got refraction reflections and volumetric lighting see everything's blurry and there's scratches on the window that's because these windows are double glazed to hell here we go, see that lantern double reflections no more fantastic let's uh, go and check out one of my other bases And this is an undersea one. And here's a new teleportation kind of graphic. Very freaky. It's adding a bit of latency, but it'll die down. And it gets a bit rough towards the end on purpose. really smooth there's my poorly parked rapid in color so 
fairly bare, but um, I'm just here to check out the smoothness and the frame rate. Here's my exoskeleton. Which looks pretty awesome. And still getting a really good low latency and frame rate. Alright, let's try it with DLS off. Okay. Here we are back in No Man's Sky during the daytime and I'm using, not using DLS, everything's still on Ultra, using TAA and FXAA. So that should be pretty good, frame rate's still the same, don't you seem to be a wee bit higher. Still getting that ghosting when I use the thumbstick. Reflections are still there in refraction. Still looking pretty good. So it just seems a wee bit not as smooth, even though the length is a wee bit higher and the frame rate should be the same. I'm using open VR, that might be an issue. But yeah, it's looking good. Night time. Damn it. I didn't show you this before, but you can actually see the stars moving or the planet revolving, should I say. If you can watch carefully, you can see it slowly coming up from the east and going down in the west go to my yellow submarine here. doesn't really matter what time of day it is yeah it does look not as smooth I am liking the smoothness of the DLS in the headset. I'll do a side by side video comparison just to try and make it fair. Yeah, the latency is a wee bit higher, for sure. Perhaps I need another headset. This is a Quest One. Another headset with higher, higher resolution, higher frame rate. I'm running a RX 2080. Still looking pretty good. Anyway, that's my brief intro to Prisms update. It, graphically, the extras like the reflections, the refraction, the volumetric lighting is just awesome. I'll do some cave diving to check the lighting out. But yeah, let's uh, skip to the outro. See you later. Well, I hope you liked that, if so, hit subscribe, leave some comments, hit the bell, let me know what I can do better, and I'll see you later 
in no man's sky.